Hi guys, welcome back to another VCV Direct video. I'm the Cliff Factor, smoking cigarettes and drinking beer. And today I want to talk about Morphos. And Morphos is what you hear in the background. And now let's bring this down. Okay, and open another file. So let's see. Okay, what do we have here? Morphos is a eight voice, I call it voice, um, morphing wavetable VCO by Clear Factory, so by me. <laughs> okay, um, now let me show all these inputs and controls and I try to explain you what's going on. So, um, here in the middle, or in the <laughs> biggest part, we have, the, uh, we have eight VCOs one, two, three, four, up to eight. And every um, VCO has a select button, as you see here. Um, these lights show the selected VCO. A tune knob, a volt per octus input, and a frequency modulation input with attenuator and a single output. Now to, uh, let's connect this guy. Okay, you see, you hear. Let's see what we have here. Okay, to change the waveform, you have this matrix here, and this allows to store at the end like 10,000 waveforms, okay? And to change the waveform, you only have to click these fancy buttons, and if this is with full lights, there are waveforms available, and when you click, there's nothing, so they're on this um, matrix place. Uh, there's no waveform, but you can record your own waveforms with this guy, um, Cliff Factory Wave Maker, that is included. And there will be an extra video how to make wavetables, okay, or waveforms for wavetables, okay? So now let's go back here. Um, on the master side, or on the morph side, you have this morph output, okay? It's this guy, and as you see, there's sound in something. And this output um, lets you morph between these eight VCOs, okay? So when we use here this morph knob, we morph through these VCOs, as you hear. And um, this light indicates where we are with our morphing thing, okay? See? Then you have an octave selection and a tune over, I think, two octaves. Nothing special. Um, you can control this morphing with an LFO. Let me show that. Now, um, this input is normalized mostly to 5 volts. If you go over 5 volts or under 5 volts, it's starting again. Let me show that. Okay. Uh, and here we got an attenuator. So, 5 volts, we are mostly 100%. And when we go over 5 volts, this guy comes back, okay? You see? S this is one thing about morphing. The second thing is that this morph button... Um, yeah, when I programmed this, this guy, I think I made a little mistake and it didn't work like I wanted. But at the end, um, I like how it works and so I let it be like this, okay? It's very noisy outside, but yeah, that's it. That uh, it is how it is. Okay, so let me show you. You see, he's going on, he's going back, and he disappears. So with this, you can make really funny stuff. Um, maybe I will make this switchable in a further version or something. But I, I think this is something very funny. You see, you can really make um, really nice 
movements between these waveforms, okay? So... Um, then, then you have a master volt per octaves input, and this is global. So when, when you have a volt per octaves input here, and the master input here, um, these voltages will be added, okay? And the volt per octaves output I show you as well, um, works like that. Let's use two waveforms here. Now we have this guy and this guy. Okay, let's m make this a little bit obvious. Now, when I use this one, but, um, all um, oscillators, all VCOs, will use this volt per octaves input. Now, when I um, switch in or plug in, plug one here in, so these four get the first voltage and these four get the second voltage. It's really nice when, when you make harmonic stuff so you can use three voltages to make chords or something and use as much um, oscillators as you can or as you want, okay? And of course this master voltage goes over that, okay? So you can tune now every volt, all voltages, okay? Nothing special so far. Now here we have an okay an FM input for fre frequency modulation that works as expect expected. So and of course you you can do frequency modulation uh, in audio range and all this stuff. Okay. Now something a little bit different is the sync input. This is hard sync. Let's sync this with a square. You see? Um, now, if you don't um, want to sync all these oscillators, okay? Then select, for instance, this one. Let's listen to this guy. Select this, and here we have the sync selection. And now this oscillator is not synced with the others, okay? This is, yeah, you can re do really nice stuff with this. So let me show you. Now when we use here... See? Okay, um, what more shall I tell you? Um, this guy comes with 200, around 200 waveforms. So um, there will be more. And in the next video, I will explain this uh, wave maker guy, how to make uh, wavetables for Morphos and in the third video there will be yeah like demos like um uh what yeah demo sounds okay i think this is mostly all we got here you got a nice wavetable oscillator where, where you can um yeah morph smoothly between waveforms and you have a lot of sounds or a lot of waveforms there, if you want, let's listen to a few. Only for you to get an idea. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. So, that's mostly it. I hope you like this guy. This uh, Morphus will be available for uh, Macintosh and Windows. Um, for six bucks and it will be included I think in the platinum bundle and uh, one further thing 
uh, no, two further things. Um, Dysmorphous works with 44.1 kilohertz only. You can use it with with, uh, with 96 or with whatever, but it won't work probably. Probably, okay. And the second thing um, I want to tell you is I'm working on a version two of this. So if this is released and maybe bugs, bug fixes are done in the near future, there will be a Morpheus 2 um, with much more control over these um, oscillators. Yeah. Okie dokie, that's it for today. Or for the moment, I didn't make a lot of demo sounds. This will be in another video, uh, only to keep this short, okay? So thank you, have fun. I even didn't smoke a cigarette. I'm so excited about this guy. I played with this today and made this uh, demo video for the demo sounds in a few hours. And this is, believe me, this is real fun, okay? So yeah, that's it for the moment. Um, the second video comes, maybe will be online when you see this, uh, is about WaveMaker and then two, uh, one or two more demo videos, okay? I'm the Clear Factor, have fun, see you here on the channel. Cheers. And a cigarette.